Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Visa season 2 episode number 11. Alright, uh, the previous episode, uh, Rigoshi and Riz had a fight and I don't know like Riz seemed pretty, I'm not sure like, you know, mentally kind of in a disbalance i'm not sure because like the way he's acting uh, he is like the first thing that he is doing is he's acting as if the thing that he did that is like eating them is pretty normal he's like oh like i ate my friend and now we are best friends within you know myself like we are together like such a good uh, you know like such a good thing he's acting like that and he like, like he's even like you know getting angry at Ligoshi first and saying that like oh like you do not like what I did so like you, you're not respecting our friendship <laughs> like oh, wow <laughs> and I, I kind of said my opinion on this in the previous episode which is that I think like he's doing this to save himself from the you know from his conscious uh, conscience from for crushing him like he's trying to save himself from that because the time when he will start blaming himself for what he has done that time like i don't know his like mental you know like strength will like start crumbling down and he's going to go into depression and it will be i don't know bad for him so i think for that he is like deliberately kind of looking the other way and trying to act as if like whatever i've done is all okay that's quite normal and that's also like why he wants to silence ligoshi and pina so that they do not bring his crimes into light like when it, it happens he will have to you know uh like admit that yeah what i've done is wrong and if he admits like that's the end for him like he's going to get crushed underneath his conscience so yeah i think that's basically it and uh like after that fight like they kind of like postponed that fight for i think new year's eve they said and uh like ligoshi in the end we see ligoshi talking with gohin and ligoshi like gohin kind of saying that i have some kind of a way for you to become stronger quickly i'm not sure what that is but let's see you know <laughs> like what it's actually about so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with b stars season 2 episode number 11 Oh, and uh, this is most probably the penultimate episode, uh, episode number 11, yeah, 12 is, uh, the next episode is the last episode of this season, so yeah, let's see what happens. Alright, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is the preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown, 3, 2, 1, go. One thing I am like observing, like Rokume or like Hexai, he like we only saw. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she, but we saw uh, like I'm going to like refer to him as a male uh, because I don't know. Okay, uh, like we saw him in the second episode. Yeah, like that was it. After that, we never saw him again. Like. I, I really you know wanted more of Lokume like he seemed like a pretty amazing character <laughs> you know the way he kind of interacted with Legoshi like the trailer was all about him and everything so I thought we were going to see a lot of him but that was just it I'm not sure will he come back for the final episode or in this episode I'm not sure but I hope they show you know Lokume again at least for one more time <laughs> like his design is pretty amazing like you know the snake design like Ochimaru's voice with Jotaro's hat the hat or cap what do you call it <laughs> that <laughs> oh my god Jojo snake <laughs> oh. okay let's see okay He's in a forest. A pile of. Oh. Wait. Swing the scale covered with them. What? Okay, let's see what Goin says. Oh, he's going to eat. 
Oh, okay. Insects, yeah, they're a good source of protein. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is how he's going to gain strength. All right. Hmm. They're extremely rich in protein, as I've heard. Like insects. Hmm. But at least he's not eating a heart before, you know. Well, with that mentality, you cannot live, you know, like if you think that Like every time you eat something, some living thing, if you think that <laughs> uh, Oh boy Yeah yeah, you're unique, you know? Be yourself. That's it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Oh my god. <clears throat> He's describing it. Oh. Oh. I'm feeling weird. Bitterness and saltiness. Damn. <laughs> he, he found enlightenment after eating a. <laughs> after eating an insect. Okay. Oh! What the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh my god, what is this? <laughs> I was just looking. What the? This is great. <laughs> Look down on this one. Yeah, that's true, you know, like what will they ever do with that? <clears throat> Damn. Respect. Yeah, respect. Like you have to consume other life form if you want to live. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to talk about this thing later on, if I remember after this ends. Um, no. Oh my god, Legoshi is like, you know. Yeah, obviously. Like, I think they are even, like... Yeah. If you think, like, eating some living thing is, like, it becoming a part of you, you know, I think it's better that way. Oh, you're not doing it again? <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, is he like... Wait, what? Wait, his fur grew back? What the hell? Wait, wait, wait a minute, what happened? Like, his fur grew back suddenly? Oh, 
Oh! Mm. Fucked up. Oh no. Oh no, he's not having the medication. Yeah, he he he's getting going crazy day by day. <laughs> he's crazy. Oh, what? Um Oh. <laughs> wow. Nice and easy. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's true. You know? Like, you know, they'll get blamed. <clears throat> Plum <laughs> wine with hot water. You know one thing? Like owl is a bartender. That's quite you know, like because owls are nocturnal, it's a bartender <laughs> like opens like they are open at night, something like that. I kind of noticed that. <laughs> oh, who the Oh my god! <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the? What reason? <laughs> Look at his face! Oh, oh no, <laughs> Ibuki's back. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh my god, you <laughs> You're ugly. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Open it. Oh my god. Ligusha. <laughs> Mm, yeah. Whoa, he just said it like that. Okay. <laughs> Mascot fist. Duel. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Hmm. No, oh, what the hell? <laughs> um, no.
Wow. <laughs> with that, with that disguise, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Big female. I think that was the right choice. <laughs> oh. Well, he's going to go, that I'm sure. Oh, it's already New Year Eve. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Get your reference. Wow. Okay, I want to listen to this, like... I think it was on Impulse, I'm not sure. I think so. Oh, he was... Oh! Damn, he's, yeah, pretty damn clever. I never thought about this. Like, you know, recording. Oh no, I, I hope nothing bad happened to him. Like, hmm. Gohin also has one or two of them. Yeah, that's true. <coughs> Damn. You won't die. I doubt you'll die. Haru. What about Haru? Okay, what happened to Pina? Like, full moon. Huh. Oh, did he get hurt? Oh my god, this place is... Wow, this is the first time, you know? Mm. 
Yeah, you have to go somewhere, don't you? Oh, what? Wait, what? Yeah, but what? What? I was not expecting this. Yeah, like... Oh damn, it's happening. Where's Pina? Um What? Oh my god! Pina, it's Pina. Oh, great. <sighs> Wait! Did he really? I don't know, he might be bluffing, you know, like to make him mad or something. But I don't know, like, Riz is too far gone, he might be crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not actually sure what happened, but something must have happened. Like, he kind of said, like, you know, Ibuki said that like he did not flinch at all he did not uh like get scared so like and then he brings him to a tunnel i don't know i think he's trying to i'm not sure like what he's actually trying to do but most probably trying to change change his mind or something as he said Oh damn, now 
a few things I have to talk about in this episode. Uh, the most, the thing that I really want to like, you know, know is that well, the P9 is really, you know, dead. Like, did he really eat me now, or is he bluffing? My money's on that he's bluffing. I'm not sure, but I still have this fear in me that kind of says that no, like, uh, Riz is too far gone, so it might not be that he's bluffing, it might be that he really did eat Pina. So, like, the next episode will clear everything up, but still, like, it's kind of you know, okay, so let's talk about this episode. Um, Okay, the first thing that is like uh, <clears throat> how to gain strength. Um, what do you call it? Uh, Legoshi. Legoshi, like Gohan said that I have a way to uh, increase your strength, and that turned out to be eating insects. And I think that's probably the best way, you know, uh, like for him to keep his whole like I'll not eat hard before thing and also gaining protein because obviously he needs protein as Gohin said that I am a hardy before I don't need protein that much so I usually do not eat them but like you cannot do the same thing with Legoshi I, I always had this thing in my mind I used to think that how are they even going to like you know like do this like how is Legoshi even going to do this he's a carnivore he needs protein and uh, to keep his strength <clears throat> So he's saying that he'll protect others, protect the other herbivores, but at the same time, he is like saying that, yeah, I won't eat, you know, like uh, meat. Like, how is that even going to happen? And it turns out that, like, uh, you know, like, it turns out, I, I thought like maybe they're going to go, uh, like, I, th I thought two things. Like, either they're going to go along the path of, like, Legoshi after conquering his instincts, he would still consume meat, but he, like, you know, like he won't be that kind of a crazed beast whenever he comes in contact with uh, like, uh, you know, uh, meat and like uh, other herbivores. He won't become this crazy mad beast whenever he comes into contact. Like that would be it. But he'll still consume meat. I thought either that or another thing that I thought was maybe he's going to start, you know, consuming uh, vegetables which have pro like, you know, protein stuff in it. And maybe he's going to consume eggs, you know, eggs, eggs are a good source of protein and maybe fish, but like a fish is also kind of, I don't know, do they even eat fish? I'm not sure. But anyways, like I thought something along those things, like he won't eat herbivores, like, you know, herbivore meat and stuff, but he'll kind of try to gain protein from other um, things. Turns out that is actually what's happening, but it's a little bit different, like he's not eating any like you know like plants like which have protein nothing like that no eggs or no like fishes it's just he's eating insects and <clears throat> i think this is like the best way um I, I think he could have also eaten eggs you know like eggs are like, like not like not killing people you know like eggs are unfertilized so like for example the eggs that uh what was that the hen's name i forgot in season one there's this one hen you know like the hen who like like was extremely prideful of giving eggs and like Legoshi ate her eggs and she was so proud of it <laughs> that hen I thought maybe he's going to like consume eggs or something but no turns out that's not the case maybe he eats eggs who knows like I'm not like you know in charge of his diet chart so no so yeah what I was saying I was saying that so yeah like this is the best thing like eating uh, insects and I've heard that I'm not sure but I've heard that insects are the best source of protein and like you know like uh, whenever there's, there's this kind of survival like reality to show tvs like uh, tv shows or stuff where I, I usually do not watch them but i kind of like know that people kind of like you know eat insects and there's like also these survival mangas where i've read like a scene that like people in like problems like when there's no food to eat they kind of take insects and eat it because they're a good source of protein obviously i cannot do that because insects like like I feel gross stuff looking at insects. How the hell am I even going to eat it? So, <laughs> yeah, like it's really bizarre for me. But still, like I get that it's like a good source of protein. And yeah, like okay, like he's consuming insects. And then when there's like this whole section where 
uh, like <laughs> Legoshi gets a vision from that. So like that insect who kind of died, he was like asking for forgiveness and saying that you didn't even like get to live your life and I hate you. And the insect was like, no, don't be like that. Like, <laughs> like I know that. Uh, like he kind of said one thing which was really you know like uh, sensible and good. He said that respect all life. That's all that we want. And I think that's the proper way you should you know uh, consume your food because like uh, not only for like you know Lagos for us as well like uh, like we have to eat you know eat to live we have to consume other living things to live and so like that's why we eat fishes eggs and like other like other you know animals so it's, it cannot be like we, it's not like we can say that no i will not eat any kind of living things i'll like only eat like uh like i won't eat it i, I can't say something like that because i'll get deficient like nutrient deficiency because of that and it'll like hamper my lifestyle so we have to eat living things to keep living that's a, like the fact now you can kind of say that like oh like we can still eat vegetables and keep alive now I present to you another thing is like that is like vegetables are also alive you know you know just because they don't move around it's not like they're dead they're still alive and we're eating a living thing <laughs> so yeah we are consuming living things so what what can you do you cannot like say that no I won't eat it anymore like I don't want hurting other you know living things I won't eat what will happen you'll die that will that's just what's going to happen so obviously you cannot say that so the least you can do is <clears throat> respect the life that you ate you know respect it and give respect to the life that is within you and yeah that's the best thing you could do and that's the thing that the insect said you know and i think that's the best way to go in this situation like kind of deal with this situation like if you feel guilty about consuming other you know like <clears throat> uh living things and all like like just like you know pay your respects to it i think that's the least you can do and obviously like it's like we can also think it in another way like yeah the life that we ate is kind of within us like it kind of became us and when we will die we will you know kind of go back to the soil the soil will like you know take the nutrients from our body and plants will have it and the plants will like it's like a you know like you know there's this kind of cycle that happens what is what is it called i think it's called something like the night no no not that some some kind of cycle i'm not sure like uh, there is a thing so like how we die we become the soil the soil like the plant takes interest from the soil and like uh, you know herbivores eat plants and carnivores eat uh, you know like herbivores we also eat herbivores and we again die we become the soil it's like a cycle so yeah just think about that <clears throat> so anyways so, like enough about this and yeah and then we get to the next portion where we kind of see like Riz is slowly becoming crazy and crazy crazier and crazier now <laughs> like I don't know what's going to happen to him and then he then we uh, <laughs> go to the funniest portion this uh, Louis Legoshi and Ibuki mm. oh also another thing I kind of saw I, I kind of mentioned this while reacting to it is the <coughs> bartender <laughs> he's an owl i did not notice it you know like it's really funny like how you know owls are kind of nocturnal like owls uh you know keep uh like awake at night and this is like a bar which usually opens at night and kind of like keeps open uh, up into the late night so that's why an owl is a bartender <laughs> it's kind of funny kind of, kind of like you know uh, noticed this today and kind of like thought about it. I was like, wow, that's quite cool, you know. Like they even like, like made uh, what can I say? Like paid like, uh, proper observation to these kind of things as well. That's pretty nice. And okay, so yeah, then the next portion is like the funniest portion where like Legoshi kind of um <laughs> like wears a like a disguise which is obviously not fitting him. And he looks weird, but still, it's, it was funny. <laughs> and the face that Louis made, oh my god. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was funny. And like he told Louis to come, you know, like uh, see my fight. <clears throat> and then comes the next portion where we see Riz. Uh, now, Pina kind of tried to do one thing, which I think is quite clever, you know, like I never ever even thought about this. 
and it's nice that he kind of you know like is trying was trying on his own to like uh, resolve the situation like he was uh, you know recording the thing whole thing like if he could have at least you know made Riz confess even a little bit of thing it would have been fine he would have been able to catch him but unfortunately like Riz I don't know how he noticed that but he noticed the camera and I don't know what the hell actually happened after that they kind of not show us okay and then like in the next uh, you know in the next uh, scene we uh, see Legoshi going back uh, after his after talking with Gohin and then we see like uh, Luis and uh, you know the uh, Shichigumi members and <coughs> I like uh, one thing I really do not like I kind of understand what he's trying to say like Luis Luis is saying that yeah like he's trying his best and I cannot face him if I still you know like keep being in in the Shishigumi so he's saying that I want to leave Shishigumi like is that it like if that is the reason uh, I think that's like uh, I don't know like I think that reason is not so like you know like she, like Lewis can just go and like, see the match, see what happens, come back to the Shichigumi again like that could like I thought that was what was going to happen like I was extremely surprised when he suddenly said that I want to leave the Shichigumi like you know like Lewis is like improving after being in the Shichigumi like he himself kind of understands a lot of new things like in this episode like he himself says that I like carnivores. Which is, I think, one of the biggest statements from Lewis, that Lewis, you know, uh, from season one. Like, he understands it now. And he, like, as he said, that I, like, I, I, I must have always liked carnivores. But he just did not want to admit it. So, yeah, like, I kind of saw this, you know, like, he, like, kind of interacted with, even though he's scared of them, he interacted with the carnivores, interacted with Legoshi and all so like i kind of always thought that like uh, like louis did does not hate carnivores he it's just that he is jealous of carnivores he is also you know what can i say like um he's not scared of carnivores no he's jealous of carnivores he's a little bit scared of carnivores and at the same time he is extremely like he looks up to the carnivores as well you know like why do people become jealous of others like because they like think that yeah whatever he or she is getting or doing that's better than what i am getting or what i am doing that's why people are jealous you know so they always like you know it, it's kind of the situation is kind of that yeah i like look up to them that's why i'm jealous of them that's usually the case so at the, at the time like whenever he was like like in whichever situation if someone is jealous of the other it kind of shows that yeah that person looks at you at a positive light that's why you're jealous for like you know at him like obviously you cannot be jealous at someone who is who you look at uh, uh who you, like a person who you look at uh like who who you think is inferior to you you know like you cannot be jealous of that can you um inferior to you jealous i don't think so like like at least within your mind if you think someone is inferior to you you cannot be jealous of that person so whoever you're jealous of at least you think that he is better than you or he like you look at him is in a positive light uh, like light so yeah that kind of proves it like <laughs> lewis was always jealous of the carnivores that means he looked at them at, in a positive life light he wanted to become like them he wanted to be strong like them that's why and like I thought about this today like when he said that I like I always liked carnivores and like it kind of came into my mind that yeah like Lewis was never like you know hateful of carnivores he just was a little bit jealous and a little bit scared of them that was just it so he himself kind of understood this in this episode and so that's why like I, I was thinking like that kind of thing that kind of changed him was you know like getting in the, in the Shishigumi that like widened his horizons he's seen a lot of new things that's why he changed. He has uh, spent his time with all of these Shishigumi members, with Ibuki. Uh, I think Ibuki's role in this is pretty big because I think uh, looking at Ibuki, he kind of changed. 
and like ibuki and obviously like lego she is also another one uh who with like you know uh, uh spending time with them he kind of changed his whole stance on the carnivores and yeah and so that's why i think like leaving the shishigumi is a bad decision at least i think i don't know how it is this is how the story is going to go but yeah let's just wait for it and then in the next scene we see like legoshi and riz coming in front of each other and riz starts talking about a gong or whatever and i thought maybe like he brought pina as a hostage you know i thought maybe he brought pina as a hostage and was going to say that yeah like this is my gong you know like if you want to save him you have to defeat me something like that turns out the situation is even better than that at least according to him he says that he's he's already eaten him eaten pina i don't know like i hope he's bluffing i really hope but like you know like riz is kind of like cracked in the head like i don't know what he's going to do and i'm quite scared like i think maybe he's telling the truth like it's like 50 50 like the 50 percent i'm thinking that yeah like pina is fine he's just bluffing to make uh you know like she go mad and like him kind of uh you know start raging either that or maybe she really did it you know i hope you know like the first one is correct that is it's just a bluff because pina is a like you know enjoyable a good character i really liked his character like pina pina could have been like pina and you know lego like, she could have been like the best friends like they are friends and like it could have been even better but i don't know I really hope that he's fine like he's just bluffing you know and then in the next portion we come to like uh you know like uh Louis and Ibuki and like Ibuki kind of uh talks about his past a little bit then he says that like uh the time we have spent it has been the best time and then like he kind of says that life under the sun is not for us Uh, no nah, isn't isn't for me not for us okay he's saying that it's not for me okay i belong somewhere pitch black like this tunnel and then it gets in the tunnel where you could end up dead any moment and then there's this gunshot and i'm not sure what that implies i doubt he shot louis because i don't think ibuki is going to shoot louis then what did he shoot at that's the question uh we'll have to wait so yeah guys that was it that was um episode number 11 of b stars season 2 now this is the penultimate episode that is after this we'll have another episode which i think the you know episode number 12 has already been released by the time this video goes up so like obviously like i'm kind of one day uh like lagging for this show because of the my timing you know so the next week uh, for me i'll like be it will be the end of b stars season 2 and you know like i as i said before like b stars is a pretty unique show and i really like it and i hope they continue this you know um i think the manga ended i i'm not sure i think it ended so obviously it has like enough source materials to adapt so i hope they like you know kind of uh, come into a quick decision and say that okay like we'll like adapt the next season as well and it'll be the, the best news will be if we get some you know like news about whether we are going to get as you know a third season or not after like the end of episode number 12 like you know there's like usually an announcement in some animes if it's already been greenlit they call it greenlit isn't it like when a season gets uh, like confirmed yeah if the season is greenlit then uh, already green it we usually get an announcement uh, in the end of the uh, season so if that happens that will be like one of the best news but i'm not sure let's just wait for it so yeah guys thank you guys for watching so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed uh, consider doing so because that will help me a lot and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out So thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next video with uh, in the next week with another episode of Beast Stars which will be the end of this season so see you guys then and until then goodbye and have a nice day